all my lovely viewers, welcome to Math Made Easy with Mom Bell. And if you're new to this channel, Lovely Day with Bell, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for you to be notified to my upcoming videos. Thank you! In this video, we will be learning about how to use divisibility rules for 3, 6, and 9 to find common factors. Let's explore and discover! Nena's garden has 414 bougainvillea plants. She wants to arrange them in either rows of 3, 6, or 9. Which are the possible arrangements of the plants? Okay, so to solve the problem, you need to know if 3, 6, or 9 are factors of 414, or if 414 is divisible by 3, 6, or 9. Okay, what are factors? Factors are numbers you can multiply together to get a product. Example, what are the factors of 6? 2 and 3 are factors of 6 because 2 times 3 equals 6. What about common factors? These are factors that are common to two or more numbers. For example, what are common factors of 15 and 25? Okay, in 15, we have 1 times 15 equals 15. We also have 3 times 5 equals 15. What about in 25? In 25, we have 1 times 25 equals 25. And 5 times 5 equals 25. So if we're going to write all the factors of 15, we have 1, 3, 5, and 15. And in 25, we have 1, 5, and 25. So look at the factors of these two numbers. What is common to the two of them? Yes, the common factor is this one, 5. Okay, we have the common factor of 5. That's the only number that has in 15 and 25. So therefore, the common factor of 15 and 25 is only 5. So let's recall first the divisibility rules. To check whether a number is divisible by 3 or not without dividing the number, we just need to add all the digits of the given number and if the sum is multiple of 3 or divisible by 3, then that given number is divisible by 3. So let's add all the digits of 414. We have 4 plus 1 plus 4 equals 9. So 9 is divisible by 3. So since the sum of the digits is 9 and 9 is divisible by 3, therefore 414 is divisible by 3. What about the divisibility of 6? A number is divisible by 6 if it is divisible by both 2 and 3. Like 414, it is divisible by both 2 and 3 because 414 is an even number or it ends in 4. And if you add all the digits of 414, you will get the sum of 9. And 9 is divisible by 3. Therefore, 414 is also divisible by 6 because it is divisible by both 2 and 3. What about the divisibility of 9? A number is divisible by 9 if the sum of the digits of the number is divisible by 9 or a multiple of 9. Okay, so 414 in our problem, if we add all the digits of 414, you'll get 9. And 9 is divisible by 9. Therefore, 414 is divisible by 9. So let's determine which numbers are divisible by 3, 6, and 9. Look at the table. Let's test the divisibility for the following numbers. Let's start with number 1, 315. Is it divisible by 3? How did you know? Yes, because if you add all the digits of 315, you'll get 9. And 9 is divisible by 3, therefore... 315 is also divisible by 3. Very good. What about 6? Is it divisible by 6? What's, what was the rule of 6? A number is divisible by 6 if it is divisible by both 2 and 3. But look at the number, 315. Is it an even number? Is it divisible by 2? No. That's why it's not divisible by 6 because... It's only divisible by 3, but not divisible by 2. What about 9? 
315. According to the rule, 4, 9, add all the digits. And if the sum is divisible by 9, then that number is also divisible by 9. But since 315, if you add all the digits, you'll get 9. And 9 is divisible by 9. Therefore, 315 is also divisible by 9. What about 216? Yes, because if you add all the digits, you'll get 9 also. And that is divisible by 3. Is it divisible by 6? 216? Yes, because 216 is an even number. And an even number is divisible by 2. And it is also divisible by 3. That's why it is also divisible by 6. Because according to the rule, the number is divisible by 6 if it is divisible by both 2 and 3. And 216 is divisible by 2, and it's also divisible by 3. That's why it is also divisible by 6. Very good. What about 9? Is 216 divisible by 9? Yes, because if you add all the digits to 216, you'll get 9. And 9 is divisible by 9. What about number 3? 906. Divisible by 3? Yes. Because it gives you the sum of 15. 9 plus 0 plus 6 is 15. And 15 is divisible by 3. That's why 906 is divisible by 3. What about divisible by 6? Is it divisible by 6? Yes, just like number 2. 906 is an even number and it is divisible by 2. And since it's also divisible by 3, that's why it is also divisible by 6. What about 9? Very good. It's not divisible by 9 because the sum is 15 if you add 9 plus 0 plus 6. And 15 is not divisible by 9. Very good. What about number 4? 210. Yes, it is divisible by 3. What about 6? Is it divisible by 6 also? What do you think? Yes, because it is divisible by both 2 and 3. What about 9? 210? No, because 2 plus 1 plus 0 is 3. And 3 is? Not divisible by 9. What about 5? Is it divisible by 3? Yes. Wow, very good. What about number uh, divisible by 6? Okay, that is also divisible by 6. And what about 9? Correct. Because 2 plus 7 plus 0 is 9. And 9 is divisible by 9. Very good. You're getting, uh, you're learning something today. Great job. Okay, let's read the problem below. Our carpenter has two pieces of wood, which are 18 decimeter and 27 decimeter long respectively, cuts into equal lengths. What are the possible lengths of each piece of wood? Okay, let's try to answer the following questions. What does the carpenter have? Okay, a carpenter has two pieces of wood. What does he want to do with the pieces of wood? Okay, he wants to cut it into equal lengths, equal pieces. What is asking the problem? What are the possible lengths of each piece of wood? Okay, how are you going to answer this problem? Okay, we need to get the common factors of 18 and 27 in order for us to get the possible length of each piece of wood. Examine the numbers 18 and 27 taken from the problem. What common number or numbers divides the two given numbers exactly? And to find the possible lengths of each piece of wood, 
use the divisibility rule of 3, 6, and 9 to find common factors. Okay, 18 is divisible by 3, 6, and 9. Remember the rule for 3, 6, and 9. Add all the digits for 3. If the sum is divisible by 3, then that is also divisible by 3. Okay, so 18, 1 plus 8 is 9. Then that is divisible by 3. And it is also divisible by both 2 and 3. That's why it is divisible by 6. And 18 also divisible by 9. So... The 3, 6, and 9 are factors of 18. Okay? And 27 is also divisible by 3 and 9. The 3 and 9 are factors of 27. So, if you are going to write all the factors of 18 and 27, you'll see the common factors are 3 and 9. Okay? Therefore, the possible lengths of each piece of wood are 2 decimeter, 3 decimeter, 6 decimeter, and 9 decimeter. Okay, find the common factor or factors using divisibility rules of 3, 6, and 9. So, let's start with number 1, 15, and 54. Okay, so let's try to check the divisibility of the following examples. So, 15. Is 15 divisible by 3? Yes, it is divisible by 3 because if you add 1 plus 5, you get 6, and 6 is divisible by 3. What about 6? Is it divisible by 6? No, because 15 is not an even number. What about 9? No, because 15 is only 6 if you add all the digits and 6 is not divisible by 9. So, 15 is only divisible by 3. What about 54? 54. Is it divisible by 3? 5 plus 4 is 9 and 9 is divisible by 3. That's why 54 is also divisible by 3. Correct. What about 6? Is 54 divisible by 6? Yes. Because 54 is an even number, it is divisible by 2. And it can be divisible by 6 because according to the rule 6, a number is divisible by 6 if it is divisible by both 2 and 3. That's why it is divisible by 6. What about 9? Is 54 divisible by 9? Yes, because 5 plus 4 is 9 and 9 is divisible by 9. And look at the common factors of 15 and 54. What's the number? Okay, the common factor is 3. Very good. Let's go to number 2. 60 and 72. Okay, what are the common factors of 60 and 72? Okay, let's check the divisibility of 60. Is it divisible by 3? Yes, because 6 plus 0 is 6 and 6 is divisible by 3. That's why it is also divisible by 3. What about 6? Is it divisible by 6? 6 plus 0 is 6 and it is divisible by 3 and also divisible by 2 because 60 is an even number. So if it is both uh, divisible by both 2 and 3, then that is also divisible by 6. What about 9? No, because 6 plus 0 is only 6 and 6 is not divisible by 9. So therefore, 60 is not divisible by 9. What about 72? Is 72 divisible by 3? Yes. 7 plus 2 is 9, and 9 is divisible by 3. What about 6? Is it divisible by 6? 7 plus 2 is 3, uh, 9 divisible by 3, and 72 is an even number, that's why it is divisible by 2. Therefore, it is also divisible by 6 because it is Divisible by both 2 and 3. What about 9? Is, is 72 divisible by 9? Yes, because 7 plus 2 is 9 and 9 is also divisible by 9. So therefore, 72 is also divisible by 9. Oh, look at their common factors. The common factors of 60 and 72, we have 2. No? 
So, 3 and 6. We have two numbers for 60 and 72. What about 144 and 558? Let's check the divisibility of 144. 144 is divisible by 3. Because if you add 1 plus 4, 5 plus 4 is 9, and 9 is divisible by 3. What about 6? Is it divisible by 6? Yes, because it is divisible by 3. And also divisible by 2 because 144 is an even number. Therefore, it is also divisible by 6. What about 9? 1, 4, 4. Yes, because... 1 plus 4 plus 4 is 9, and 9 is also divisible by 9. What about 5, 5, 8? 558, is it divisible by 3? 5, it is 18. Yes, it's divisible by 3. Is it divisible by 6? Yes, because 558 is also divisible by 2 because it's an even number. Therefore, it is also divisible by 6. What about 9? Yes, because 5 plus 5 is 10 plus 8 is 18, and 18 is divisible by 9. So that is also divisible by 9. So therefore, the common factors of 144 and 558 is 3, 6, and 9. So there are 3, okay? So I hope you understand what I'm talking about here. To find the common factors of the given numbers, we apply the following divisibility rules. 3. If the sum of all the digits is divisible by 3, then the number is divisible by 3. 6. A number is divisible by 6 if it is an even number, and the sum of all the digits is divisible by 3, or if the number is divisible by both 2 and 3. And 9, a number is divisible by 9 if the sum of all its digits is divisible by 9. Okay, let's try to answer this activity before I end. Directions, put a check under each column to identify whether its number is divisible by 3, 6, or 9. Okay, so let's find the common factors of the following numbers. 51 and 45. Is it divisible by 3 or does it have, do they have a common factor of 3? Yes. What about 804 and 306? Use the divisibility, the divisibility rule for 804 and 306. Do they have a common factor of 3? Yes. What about 153 and 855? Yes, 360 and 792, yes also, and 720 and 207, is there a common factor of 3? Yes, okay, what about 6? 51 and 45, remember the divisibility rule for 6? If it is uh, divisible by both 3 and 2, or 2 and 3. So, 51 and 45 is not divisible by 2, so it's not divisible by 6. What about 804 and 306? Yes, it is divisible by both 2 and 3, and it has a common factor of 6. 153 and 855? No, it's not divisible by 6 because they are not even numbers. They are odd numbers. Okay, so 360 and 792, yes, they have common factor of 6. 720 and 207, no, because the 207 is not divisible by 2. That's why it's not divisible by 6 also. Let's continue with common factors of 9 in number 1. Is there a common factor of 9 in number 1? No, they don't have because 51, if you add all the digits, is only 6. And 6 is not divisible by 9. What about 2? Number 2, 804 and 306. No, because 12, if you add 8 
plus 0 plus 4, that's only 12. And it's not divisible by 9. So there is no common factor of 9 in number 2. What about number 3? 153 and 855. 1 plus 5 plus 3 is 9. 8 plus 5 plus 5 is 18. Yes, it has 9. So they have common factors of 9. What about number 4? 360 and 792. Common factors of 9. Is there any for the both 360 and 792? Yes. What about number 5? Last number. 720 and 207. Yes, of course. Okay, so did you understand our lesson for today? I hope you understood, okay? Thank you so much. Have a nice day, everyone. Bye.